What is up, boys and girls? Welcome back to the City of Z. I'll be your tour guide today, and we are continuing our coverage of the zombie breakdown. Here's our first picture that I wanted to highlight. In this picture, the bus shows out of service in front of the bus stop. I don't know what that means, but I thought that would be an interesting picture just to show. But not important. We're moving on to the next picture now. All right, so in this one, this is my theory about this picture. This happens right after the last one at the bus stop. The door opens. Now, do th and they're all equipping their guns. And she appears to be holding a pistol in her hand, and there was also a close-up shot of a pistol. I believe this is the night new starting room, and every, round, or every game, you will start on this bus. It will open, and you will face the horde of zombies. Next picture. All right, so here is a... Better picture of one of our characters. He is a male with glasses and he is holding a shotgun. I do not know what shotgun it is, but it is a shotgun. This goes on to my theory that this is going to be the zombies campaign. It will be the campaign. Different characters, ordinary people. What's going to happen? And if indeed this is the zombie campaign with these new characters that seem like just a group of regular survivors just trying to survive, then... This, would, this whole scenario would make sense. Here we have what appears to be a last stand of our four survivors surrounding this little van. In front, there's lava, zombies are on fire, and a massive horde is coming for them. This could be a last stand. Maybe these people failed to beat the campaign mission. Maybe you have to get around the entire map. I think this could be an excellent example of a campaign. These guys are going to die. They're not going to beat the mission. They'll have to try it again. They have to keep taking the bus over and over until they get to the end of the mission. And maybe if it's a bike, use the bike. But we'll, we'll talk about that. Before I get to the bike or wonder weapon, there are riot shields and zombies. What the heck is going on? Or we're going to be able to bash these zombies' brains in with riot shields. And then you can put them down, which you see in the video, and start shooting and covering from the other way. Here appears to be two characters. I don't recognize the guy in the back. I don't know if you guys have seen him in the trailer before, but I can't tell who he is. Maybe this is... I, I don't know. I can't even explain to you how excited I am to hit zombies with riot shields. This picture up here, here is not great quality, but it appears to be one of the light machine guns. It looks like one of the guns from Survival Mode in Modern Warfare 3, but that's besides the point. Look at that gore. That is some serious gore that they have, they've amped it up. They've stepped it up a notch, bringing up the gore level and the fear factor. I'm excited. I hope you guys are. And for the second to last picture, this is a big light machine gun laying down some fire in the bar slash diner slash area where they make food, as you can see from the coffee makers on the, on the side. This appears to be maybe in the 1950s as those are older coffee makers and not what they are today but he is mowing down some zombie heads mowing them down here is the picture that i've been wanting to talk about it is either her on a my uh, the female character on a bicycle or she is on or holding the new wonder weapon it looks like she's holding a death machine maybe they are similar you can't run with them that'll take away training make training harder could that be a possibility but if it's not a po if it's not a death or the new wonder weapon which it most likely is it is definitely going to be definitely going to be a motorcycle that you can use to end the game or drive away to the next part of the storyline all right thanks so much for watching boys and girls it's been a pleasure i'll see you next time in the city of z peace out